when I think about the world, there are a lot of questions that I really don't get an answer. If I could ask you, what is the world? You won't give me an answer. Those are words from Harmonize, from the song Dunia, which means the world. Uh, I'm doing a review of that song. I realized it's a song that really has a deep message, a deep meaning from the video to the, the lyrics. And so today we are going to review Dunia by Harmonize. Uh, if you are new to this channel, welcome. Uh, I'm really grateful that you found it worthy to open this video. I promise you, you will learn something, you will be entertained, you will be inspired. Uh, now we are going to review the song from the video to the lyrics that he says. And therefore, I'm going to start. So the song, the video starts where he is in a certain hill. I think uh, it's a hill, not a mountain. Where he shows uh, people with uh, these religious artists. There are those sisters, there are those Muslims. Uh, then there is also a, a clip on a certain woman walking along a certain path and uh, she seems dizzy. And that's when the song starts. Ni kifikiria gadunia huaga sipati jibu na waza mpaka na data Nikikuuliza nini dunia huwezi kunipa jibu hapo ndo napata utata so he's saying that when i think about the world i don't really get an answer if i could ask you sorry if i could ask you what is the world you would really give me an answer uh, there are a lot of questions and complication about this world surely uh, and that's the concept that he's trying to introduce and then um, in the video there is also a clip of a woman who is pregnant uh, with a, also a friend there there is also a clip of another woman who is I think seems mad because he's trying to to hit someone else or I don't know if it is to kill and uh, now the woman who was walking along the path seems to be in pain and uh, she falls suddenly. Uh, I think now around these pictures he's trying to show us on different sides of the world and also for introducing what he's thinking about. Uh, then he continues. So he continues by saying Muda mwingine unaweza dani ni utani mbona vitu vizuri vyote viwe ni vya shetani eti muziki shetani pesa nazo shetani mpira na pombe shetani ngono na miadarati shetani that he's wondering you know he, uh, sometimes you would think it is a joke because why are all the good things Belong, why, why do all the good things are associated with the devil? For example, music. Uh, people say that music, oh, there is, there is an aspect of it that is devilish. Uh, the things uh, on games, sports, they associate those things. The things that people enjoy, they are associated with the devil. The... The drinks, you know, the parties, it is devilish, that's what they say. Um, sex, that is what he says, Ngono, it is satanic. So he's asking, why? It's like a joke. Why are the good things associated with the devil? And then in the video, uh, he shows the people going to help the, women, the woman who had fell. Uh, and also, the woman who was pregnant, I think she gets in labor, and uh, that woman, the friend, goes for help. Then there is another one, the one who was mad. She is 
trying to beat children. Uh, then he goes ahead to ask, what is this world? He believes. Na mini mungu yupo najua, dora nifanya mina pumua, kita kata sasa tadi chukua, ila mina taka kujua. So he's saying that, yes I believe. So he says that I believe that God is there. Even if 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 it is His will, He will take me right now. And uh, but I want to know. I want to know. That that is what he is questioning about this world. Then he continues. Ni 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 dunia, dunia, dunia. What is this world? What is this world? Yeah. And so that is the first verse. In the video, we see the woman in the hospital, the one who was sick. People are praying for her. Uh, then the one who was mad, I think relatives or friends come for her. That is what is shown in the video. They are taking her. And then here comes the people on the, in the, in the, along the mountain who are... In religious attires, there is a pastor there. I can see uh, Muslims, Christians, according to how they are dressed. And then he, he starts the second verse. Wana oishi kwa imani, misikiti ni makani sani, uwepo wao hauonekani, alizao zipotabani. That the people who are living in faith, in the mosque, in the in the churches, they they are living a low life and they are not really recognized. Uh, so he's just questioning why, you know, because it's like there is also there is a God who controls the world, and there are people who live in faith. There are people who pray for the others. I think that is what he, he what he's trying to show there. And then he continues by asking a question if you likwanga wapi before hujaja dunian na kwa nini kuna kifo unapokwenda pajulikan where were you before you came to this world and why is there death that when someone goes they never come back najua safari ni yetu sote Hakuna lo kwenda na karudi japo kutusimulia kama pazuri ama pabahari uwe tajiri masikini kwa mchanga utarudi nina choa usia tusiishi kwa ubaya that this, this journey is, is for all of us we will all get through this we will all die and uh whether the rich or the poor, you must go back to the soil. And so he just pleads with us or with the, the audience, let's not live in a bad way. Let's not live negatively. And so in the, in the video, he continues. And the one who was in, in labor, she's in the hospital and she gives birth and she is very happy with the um, with the family there i think then we are shown the picture of the one who was mad she is in uh, a place where she was taken by the i think the family or something she got a, a string a red string on the on the hand I think all this has a meaning. They are praying for her. And then he starts the last verse. Tuombe ane mwisho mwema. Tuombe ane mwisho mwema. And there are the pictures of these people who are this with the religious artists. I believe they are praying for the people. And in that verse he's saying let's pray for each other for a good a happy ending 
you, whether you are a Christian or you are a Muslim, let's pray for each other for a happy ending. That is what the so the the verse means. And uh, then the woman who was mad, she, I think she recovers, and she stands up, and the family is happy, as you can see there in the video. The string that was tied on that woman it is also shown tied on a, on the baby who is born and also on the woman who was sick so i i, I think it is a it he concludes by showing like this was a story of just one woman who had that streak when she was born then a time she is mad a time she is sick and uh, when they are praying for her, it is also shown that she recovers. Uh, and I think that that's the meaning of a happy ending, that this woman who was mad, she recovers. This, child, this woman who was in labor, she gives birth and they are happy. This woman who was sick, yeah, she recovers. So just showing a life revolving around one person. You could imagine that in life sometimes you are sick, Sometimes you are in a position where you're mentally ill. Uh, and so these are cycles of life. Sometimes you're, you're giving, you're, this, like the woman who was giving birth, this is an, an offspring. It is, uh, what do we call it? In life, like you're, you're giving birth to new things and changes in life. There is a part that I, I left a bit in the second verse that kuna kidudu kinaitwa mapenzi hakijawahi kueleweka wakati wewe unalia mwenzako huko anacheka like this love it is also complicated when someone is there crying heartbroken someone is there they, they are happy they are married they are yeah they are enjoying life so it is this concept about the world, you really don't get an answer. Why are these things happening this way? And on another side, they are happening on another way. So that is my understanding of this song. I don't know what is your understanding or your take on even the storyline that is on the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, and I want to thank you because of coming through with me up to this last end. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We are going to do more of such content, reviewing the songs, uh, okay, African literature uh, to be specific. Sometimes I'll do books, sometimes I'll do songs, sometimes I'll do poetry. Uh, and this all is targeted at just understanding, just understanding because, you know, those who are gifted in this literature and all that, they have a message that they are conveying to the people who are listening. So, and like for example, the song that we've just reviewed, you could just think about the world and really get to understand that we don't live forever. We pray for a happy ending for one another. You know, really, religion doesn't really matter. So, we're just learning from these things. So I'm grateful. And until next time, uh, keep it locked. Skiahi TV. Love you.